Last year we saw a real escalation in, in, well, violence is the only way of describing it, I guess, on the Sunday night, um, where quite simply too many people had had too much to drink in a very concentrated area. They were lighting fires, some big fires, which presented a very real safety risk to other campers on that site. Most people go to the site and are there purely to watch the music and have a good time, 95%. It's the small minority, I would reiterate that. However, the, issue, the issues that presented themselves last year on the Sunday night were quite significant and presented a real risk to public safety, to the other um, festival goers, to the staff on the festival site, to my officers, to the fire service as well. We've certainly put a lot more officers into the festival this year to complement the festival's own operation around the stewarding and they've trebled their stewards this year in order to maximise the safety of the public. Where we'll be looking to have not just a reactive capability if it goes to the stage where it went last year, but certainly this year is more for me about a more proactive response. I want my officers to be engaged with the festival goers at a very early stage throughout the week, during the daylight hours, selling the crime prevention messages, giving messages such as, look, if you pick up a conviction for a minor infringement, and that's potentially going to prohibit your international travel. The conviction in this country can stop you getting into the States on holiday. They're the kind of messages we'll be using. They're quite powerful and people don't notice of that. Um, most of those individuals at the, at the festival site are young people. They're vulnerable themselves. Our job is to protect them from any kind of threat. It's a kind of test year almost. A lot more policing, covert and overt this year a lot more stewards, we'll see what effect that has, uh, that has and that will dictate our resourcing next year. In an ideal world we'd have no police resources there because actually it's just a music festival. Most of the officers involved at the festival come from outside of Reading, a lot of them have their days off cancelled in order to do that, so there's no implications around the resourcing of Reading, where it'll be business as usual, same numbers of police, probably even an enhanced level of resources because some of those people at the festival will probably be available to help out in the town as well.